Hello, I'm John Raines, Executive Secretary Treasurer for the North Central States Regional Council of Carpenters. We're all in challenging times right now. These times can create hardships for people, and I personally want to let you know that we will do everything in our power to help each and every member out there. We will continually strive for new ways to support our membership. Brothers and sisters, I want to let you all know that your union is taking every measure to ensure your safety and the safety of our staff here at North Central States. We're also taking every action necessary to ensure your economic well-being. We are continuously reviewing information from the World Health Organization, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the White House Coronavirus Task Force, and local governments to take the right and necessary precautions in the wake of the coronavirus pandemic. Our number one concern is membership safety. We have worked with contractors to communicate and implement stronger job site COVID-19 protocols that must be followed, including physical distancing, mandated cleaning of work areas, access to hand washing and hand sanitizing, and a mandate for members to follow these protocols. We are working with state, federal, and local public health officials to ensure prevention of infection among our membership and have a COVID-19 action plan in place in the instance of job site exposure. We have issued several procedures and taken several measures with advice from our infection prevention specialists to limit the spread of germs and keep workplace members and staff safe. For example, I have instructed senior managers to suspend meetings larger than 10 participants. In-person meetings for the next 30 days limit all travel and institute working remotely when possible. I have mandated that staff maintain physical distancing and have instituted other precautionary measures to ensure their safety. I'm working with local unions to help them postpone meetings, include meetings with nominations and elections. Our actions within and outside of the organization will help protect our staff, our members, and contracting partners while avoiding further strain on our health care systems. With the emergency responses from the states around the Regional Council to COVID-19 and with the safety of staff and visitors in mind, I have temporarily closed all our Regional Council-owned facilities to anyone other than staff effective March 20th. The Carpenters Credit Union will remain open. Our training centers are also closed through May 3rd, 2020. Exceptions may apply for ICRA training if necessary. We will continue to take necessary actions as things change and evolve. Notices have been sent to members, signatory contractors, apprentices, and staff, making sure everyone is on the same page. If you have questions or want to review these communications, please visit our website at northcountrycarpenter.org. Our website contains information about member unemployment, changes in each state, videos for staying healthy, memos issued for closures, and general member updates. I will be reassessing this closure on an ongoing basis and the reopening of the facilities will be communicated in advance. With that said, I want you to know that we will continue to serve and support our members now and into the future. Business representatives, council staff, and fund office staff will be available by phone and email to answer your questions. We will continue to work with our health funds to ensure that proper coverage is available to you. Health plans covering 90% of our construction members have increased the short-term disability benefit from $350 to $450 per week. It eliminated the waiting week to receive the benefit, covered COVID-19 related testing at 100% and waived all co-pays for COVID-19 related visits. We continue to work on these changes on behalf of all of our members and are working to try and cover multiple months supplies of some pharmaceutical drugs. We are also working to ensure that federal, state, and local legislation and orders adequately protect our members' safety and economic well-being. 
In our industry, we make money when we are building things. We have not seen large-scale postponements or cancellations of construction projects. And in areas where that has happened, it's been via public health orders. We are preparing for all contingencies and working hard to make sure members are safe. We'll fight for access to health care and economic security for members that must stay home due to illness, exposure, or an exposure-related job site shutdown. We will continue to work for your safety and economic well-being around the clock. We understand that these challenges can be disruptive and we appreciate your patience and cooperations. Again, I will pass along any additional information as the updates occur. Please know that your council leadership is working hard to keep pace with new information to protect our families economically and physically. We are taking steps to protect council assets through cost-saving measures to allow us to prepare for opportunities that may present themselves in our construction industry. I am optimistic that we will come through this, we will adapt together and get through these challenging times. We will be proactive in preparing for all changes, ensuring that once we emerge from this challenge, we will be stronger as a union and ready to provide the resources that fully meet the needs of our industry. This is a brotherhood and together we will take care of one another and enhance the safety of everyone. Working together for a better tomorrow. In solidarity, your EST John Range.